بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ان ویزیبل بوائے بائی ٹروڈی لوڈویگ اینڈ پیٹریز پارٹن ایز گڈ ریڈرز آلویز میک پروڈکشنز وین دے پک اپ اے بک اینڈ لوک ایٹ دا کور پیج سو وٹ ڈو یو تھنک دس بوائے از ریئلی ان ویزیبل ڈو یو نو وٹ ڈز ان ویزیبل مین Invisible means something that you cannot see, but it still exists. It's there. So we see a boy on the cover page. He's drawing with a chalk. So we can make a prediction. Is this boy is really an in- invisible boy? So when we read the story, we can check. Is our prediction true or it's not true? Okay, this is the first page of the story. And can you see uh, what is the setting in the story? What did you say? Is it school? Yes, it looks like school because we see there's students standing in a line and there is a teacher and we see that two students are screaming and one student who is next to the um, teacher standing quietly did you notice an other thing about that student who is standing next to the teacher the illustrator drew him in black and white while the other children are wearing colorful dresses or maybe he is the invisible boy Can you see Brian, the invisible boy? Even Miss, Mrs. Carlotti has trouble noticing him in her classroom. She is too busy dealing with Nathan and Sophie. So I think these two children who are screaming are Nathan and Sophie. And when some kids, they make talk in louder voices and don't do the right things in the classroom, they take almost all of the teacher's attention. Nathan has problem with what Mrs. Carlotti calls volume control. He uses his outside voice inside too much. Sophie whines and complains when she doesn't get her way. So now we know what's the problem in the story. Nathan and Sophie take up a lot of space. Brian doesn't. When the bell rings for recess, Mika and JT take turns choosing kids for their kickball teams. The best players get picked up first. Then the best friends of the best players Then the friends of the best friends, only Brian is left, still waiting and hoping. So nobody picks up Brian's to play with them. He's always left alone and that's how, that's why he's called an invisible boy. At choosing time, while the other kids play board games and read, Brian sits at his table doing what he loves to do best. He draws fire-breathing dragons scaling tall buildings. So this is what he does. He loves to draw. While other kids are playing games, he just sits alone and do what he loves to do. So he draws fire breathing dragons scaling tall buildings space aliens locked in the in intergalactic battles greedy pirates digging for treasure and superheroes with the power to make friends wherever they go So these are these type of things he loves to draw reading Only Monday morning, Mrs. Carlotti introduces Justin, a new student, to the class. 
Brian smiles shyly at him. Some of the other kids sneak look at Justin, trying to figure out if he's cool enough to be their friend. They haven't quite made up their minds yet. At lunch, Madison and JT watch Justin eating with chopsticks. What's that? asks Madison as she points at Justin's food. It's, it's bulgogi. Bul -wa? So these things you see in the bubbles, the words in the bubbles are actually the dialogue that characters speak. And what do you think? Are they making fun of his food? Now we see more speech bubble here. These are the dialogues and that means what characters are talking about. Bulgogi, it's Korean barbecued beef. My grandma made it for me. It's really good. Do you want to try some? No way. There is no way I would eat bulgogi. So see how they're making fun of a uh, new boy's food. And let's see what is Brian doing. He's sitting on a separate table and just trying to hear their conversation. And the kids laugh, all of them. That's, that is except Brian. He sits there wondering which is worse, being laughed at or feeling invisible. So Brian is trying to relate with Justin because he's being laughed at and just uh, Brian always feel left alone. So he can feel for him how bad it feels when other people make fun of you or ignore you. The next day when Justin goes to his cubby and to put away his backpack, he notices a piece of paper with his name on it. Justin, I thought the bulgogi looked good, Brian. So Brian left a note in uh, Justin's cubby and he said your food look nice, nice and he drew a picture like he is eating bulgogi too. Does that make Justin feel happy? Yes, we can see a smile on Justin's face. So what did Brian do to make Justin feel happy? Okay. We see more dialogue, more speech bubbles on this page. At morning recess, Brian finds a piece of chalk on the ground and starts drawing away. So, and that's the thing that Brian loves to do because nobody plays with him, so he just draws wherever he is. You're Brian, right? Justin came to him and Brian said, yeah. Justin says, thanks for the note. Hey Justin, Emilio calls out from the tether ball court. You are up next. Sorry, I gotta go, says Justin. By the way, that's a really cool drawing, he adds before taking off. Back in class, Mrs. Carlotti asks the kids to team up in twos or threes for special project. The kids scurry around the room to pair off. Brian heads toward Justin. I'm already with Justin, says Emilio. Find someone else. Brian looks at the floor, wishing he could draw a hole right there to swallow him up. That means he feels so bad that he just wanna be dis he just want to be disappeared. Mrs. Carlotti said, we can have up to three people in our group. We are only two. Come on, Emilio, let him work with us. Okay, I guess. 
and now we see Brian is smiling because he can be a part of team and he's not invisible anymore did you notice that the color of the drawing is changing when Justin invited him to join them Mrs. Carlotti gives the class directions for the, for the proje project. Your assignment is to work together to write a story about what, do you, what you see in, this, in that photograph. Use your imagination and have fun. So there are buildings in the photograph. Wow, cool, said Emilio. What kind of people do you think would live in, these, in houses like that? I don't know, but I bet Brian could draw them to go with our story, says Justin. Brian smiles at he takes out his lucky, his lucky pen. Do you think Brian is happy? He has a big smile on his face now. It's lunchtime again, Brian's least favorite part of the day. Another 20 long minutes for kids talking and laughing with everyone else but him. Brian! He hears someone shout, Hey Brian, over here! Brian turns and sees Justin waving, waving him over. Emilio nods at Brian as he makes room for him, uh, as he makes room for him at the table. cookie. So Justin is offering him a cookie. Brian takes it, says thanks. Maybe just maybe Brian's not invisible after all. What did Brian do to make himself visible? Did you ever experience this kind of behavior at school or anywhere else? when people ignore you. What would you do if you are Brian? 